Hey everybody, this is Jason, zombie collector extraordinaire. And if you're dirty, it's Jason Payne. And I uh, thought I'd do another video. This video is going to either probably get a ton of dislikes or thumbs down, or that's if anybody even watches it, because it's going to be a big old stack of Japanese baseball, or yeah, Japanese baseball players. There's a guy named Greg I'm friends with on Facebook, and I've mentioned him before. He just periodically sends me just long boxes, you know, whatever, thou, I don't even know, 3,000 count box or whatever it is, a baseball card, 1,000 card count box, I'm not for sure, but it's one of the longer ones. It's one of the long ones. And uh, just full of cards, Hall of Famers, Japanese ball players, rookie cards, 80s and 90s guys, superstars. Uh, he just buys tons of collections and just sends them to me. Uh, just great guy. And uh, he said, I got you a bunch of Japanese ball players, and uh, I'm going to send it to you. So I'm going to quickly go through it. Uh, I just like to show them off for my own personal amusement. So we have uh, Sasaki, great, great pitcher. We got uh, Tanaka. This is an insert card. Uh, what is it called? Power or something? Power players. Uh, I guess I should just put them up there. Then we got uh, Iwamura. Shout out to MP and MC Fox. The Yankees, I should have shouted out. Uh, Victor Negron. And the Mariners, uh, Kyle, uh, Ground Chuck. We got the Dodgers right here. Nomo, the Human Tornado. That's all kinds of player people there. We got Papino Man. We got Mike Y. We have uh, uh, Think Blue seventy seven Jesse. A lot of guys out there. We got Chicago Cubs. Hukudome, Kosuke Hukudome. This would be mostly uh, Sean Sloppy Seconds. Kurt Suzuki Chrome. There you go. Oakland A's right there. So that's uh, Sight on Baseball Cards, Tony and Eric. There. Then we have uh, uh, Makato Suzuki. He goes by Max Suzuki. I've shared that story with him before, about him before with you all. Got another Nomo card. I'm going to try to avoid. There are some doubles in here. So I'm going to try to avoid some of that. Iwamura, right? Or Iwakuma. Iwakuma. Kuma in Japanese is bear, for anybody who wants to know. anybody Any uh, Japanese scholars out there? Then we have uh, Kuroda, and uh, he played for the Yankees and the Dodgers, I think, were the two teams. He might end up playing for somebody else for a while. Saito, I don't know anybody who's a Diamondbacks fan. Probably not even Diamondbacks fans or fans of their own team. But uh, there you go. This is an update. I think that was a blue border. Isn't that Target or Walmart? Blue borders. That was an, also a... Um, for the Kuroda, uh, that's also um, that was an update series. We got you, Darvish, Texas Rangers, right? This one, but he, no, this is Chicago Cubs. No, this is Rangers card. He obviously went on with the Cubs, and uh, here we got Iwakuma again the Don, uh, with the Donruss card. And this is a, I always like this set. It kind of got poo pooed on. Thought it had a cool set. I think this set had like basketball players and football players and all kinds of. Different players in here. We got Nomo there. And then we have Boston Red Sox right here. Koji Uehara, which is uh, Izzy, Isman 70. We got Doug's in Boston. I know uh, Phil, Phil Mutin, the Phillies, or Phillies, the uh, Bo Sox fan. Then we got uh, Iwakuma here. Another Saito when he was playing for the Red Sox. He played for the Dodgers and then there. And then we have Aoki. This is when he was in Milwaukee, so that's uh, Scotty Tradition, baby Scotty. Woo woo! And Sko's big hits. Masato Yoshi with the Mets. Who's a Mets fan? New York. Who's a Mets fan? Is that uh, New York? Uh, Steve Carter's kids. And who else is this uh, Mets fan? That also is Mark from Kentucky. Mark. Then we got another, got a Nomo. Oka, Blue Jays. Then we got uh, Kazu Ishii, Kazu Hisa, that's official, Sotaguchi, St. Louis Cardinals. He was actually really a good player. A lot of people don't talk about him, but he was actually a pretty solid player for the Cards for a number of years. And then uh, Takahita, um, Tadahito Iguchi, sorry. They have it in cursive back here, so it threw me off, and I'm like, hold on, wait, what? He actually played for the SoftBank Hawks in uh, Fukuoka, which is where I lived him and um, Jojima. Then we got Nomo there. I like that card. It's kind of cool. 
That was a so tight Gucci card. Remember that tops this tops total had like a thousand cards in it or something crazy. It was like a twelve hundred card set. I don't even remember. It was a lot of cards. I remember that was it. Then we got a Yoshi right here, Chrome. Uh, we're gonna show this. Some the good news is I'm gonna be able to blow through some of these cards. A lot of them are dupes. Then we got uh that is a uh, Max Suzuki. Then we got a Chrome of uh, Iwakuma. And I've never seen this Ichiro card before. It's an insert. Whoa, that's almost bent it in half. This is an insert card of Ichiro right here. He looks like a little bitty kid with a beard in this card. Not a beard, but a beard. Look at that. He looks like a little bitty kid. He's like, hey, mommy, can I go up here? Can I go play me some stick ball? Some stick ball, mommy. 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 Then we got, uh, I think, oh, that's Tanaka. Yeah, I haven't shown that card. I already show that U Darvish card. I don't think I'll show this Kuroda. This uh, here another Don Russ. And then I don't think I did not have this right here. This is an update of um, Matsuzaka Dice K. You know he's like he's like your typical Japanese story. He's like a lot of those Japanese ball players, they, especially pitchers. They come over here. They may have a solid one or two seasons, maybe. And that's probably being generous. And then they just go woo, and they just fall off the radar. I mean, very few pitchers end up sustaining decent careers. Sasaki was pretty good. Uh, Darvish obviously is good. Noma was good. Uh, Tanaka has been good. Um, uh, some of the guys like Okajima for the Red Sox, he had a really successful career in the bullpen and some of those guys. But, I mean, you got to think. I just made, I mean, I rattled off like four or five dudes. There's probably been about 30 Japanese pitchers or close to them. And hardly anybody else remembers any of those guys' names. So right there, as a position player outside of um, uh, Ichiro, I'd say Hideki Matsui is your next best Japanese ball player. I think if he would have came over just like Ichiro 10 years earlier, uh, both of them would have had – well, I mean, obviously Ichiro has a Hall of Fame career with what he did, but how much more of a Hall of Fame career would he even have had? And I would say the same thing goes for Godzilla. If he would have came over – I mean, what, what year did he – it doesn't say on this card, but I think he came over like 2004 maybe – Something like that. So if he would have came over four or five years earlier, where you're still like in his mid twenties instead of like being in his like early thirties, I think we would have saw a whole different. I mean, you know, he was the MVP for the World Series. Good Abu, a fat pussy toad. You know, we might have saw. We might have seen a whole no Godzilla, no Godzilla, Godzilla. I mean, I'm so excited about Kong versus Godzilla when that comes out, dude. That's gonna be legit. Too legit to quit. Hideo Nomo, I, that, before that was uh, Sasaki. I love this card here. You know, on all the cards, I don't. I, I did not think. Oh, this is a this is a reprint from two thousand five. I did not know that. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen this card. I mean, I don't. I didn't have it, but this is a reprint card. This is cool. Rookie Cup card. Another you Darvish uh, red. The other one I showed was a blue. Uh, I've shown all those. I've shown this. I did not show this. Hideki Matsui. Right there. Then we got Iguchi. When well, I just mentioned about him, that's, that's actually a good shot of him. Action shot. There's a Sotaguchi. So we got Sotaguchi. We got Tadahito Iguchi. So Iguchi and Taguchi. Then we have Keigawa. He like he's one of those pitchers had a serviceable year or so, two years, and then what? This guy. I don't. Even, I mean, he. They keep showing him in uh, uh, Minnesota Twins outfits. I would have to ask, like people like uh, Dustin or uh, Micah, are you guys? Do you, I mean, I know you guys are Minnesota Twins fan. Did he actually ever play on the field in a real game? Because I, didn't, I mean, he was like literally gone before the like the season. I felt like he even started. Then we got Nomo here with the Mets. There's a rock and fire, rock and fire Nomo. This is a nice Kenji Jojima card. Well, it's kind of cool. That I just I just got this. I'll give you a sneak peek behind the curtain. So here's your base card for the 2000 and I believe, what, 10? Yeah, 2010. And then I just got this in the mail today. The uh, gold parallel refractor or whatever, numbered out of 50. This, this is number 23 out of 50. You see there at the bottom corner. But that card is legit. I got this car for 99 cents, free shipping. And I know probably people like you spent 98 cents too much. But for me, who's a collector of these kind of cards, of these ball players, I mean, I'll pay that all the time. 
that's a too legit to quit type of deal for me. Then we have, uh, is this Ishii? Yeah, this is Ishii. Another Ishii card. And then this, dude, this guy was so kind. I mean, uh, his name's Greg. He sent me four Kesson Hero rookie cards, two of his rookie debut and two of his, his uh, regular cards. I mean, right here, I mean, they're all base cards, but I mean, this guy, I mean, this, I mean, if he ends up taking off, which I think he has a lot of potential, I mean, that is awesome. I mean, right, I, might, I could have been right there holding like $8 in my hand right that, right at that moment. Then we got MAGA Country right here, 2020 MAGA, uh, Kurt Suzuki. Put the tag on this Phillies. This guy's trying to slide on Suzuki. He's like, Psh, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself, fool. And then he threw in some Kenta Maeda cards, which I already I had all these 20, 20 cards, but I'll take them. Like I said, I had a, all these cards I did have, but you know, you never know. They might end up in a care package for some people who collect uh, certain teams. Got Tanaka, which I've already had that one. I think I think I had this Ichiro. And then this is a cool rookie cup kiss in here. I didn't. I don't believe I had this one, so that's a cool one. Happy to have that. And then I think I had this, but uh, again, I don't know. But those black borders, I'll take another one. I'm almost done, guys. I already shown that card. I did not show this one. I'll just kind of hit some of the higher, the ones that are kind of unique looking. So there's that one. I did not have that Nomo. This tops. What is this tops? Two oh six. I didn't have this team hero. Team heroes. For uh, Matsui, that's a really good action shot of uh, Kazuo Matsui, little Matsui, and then we have here uh, Kazu Ishii, Kazu Hisa Ishi, sorry, because in Japan they got a time they just call him Kazu, so I just go Kazu Ishi, but and this is a uh, Kazuo Matsui Bowman. I don't know if I had this Jojima card, but it's a nice looking card. That's a that'd be a beautiful card for Michael to get autographed right across the chesticles. Then we got a Travis Ishikawa, who is Japanese American, half white, half Japanese, or as they say in Japan, Hahu, Hahu. He's from Washington State, so we would say half, who half. They say Hahu. Then we got Sasaki. Now this is so Taguchi car is too legit to quit as well. This is the this is the car they got MC Hammer to sing the song too legit to quit. When you saw that, he was like, what jet? See, I'm just living all these little Easter eggs on the back of this video because I'm sure nobody's going to watch this far. Then we got Mr. Golden Boy right here, a uh, Shinjo that nobody cares about. Then we got, this is a cool looking card of uh, Kazumatsui. This is probably my favorite card out of, the, out of all the like, just regular base cards. This is the one that can kind of go into the Bob Lewis uh, Funny Card Hall of Fame. We got Matsui on his back like a turtle with like a strap around his foot. I guess he's doing some kind of stretches. And with that face, he's like. Yeah, that's pretty much hilarious. A good action shot there of Ishii son. And a good action shot here. Or like getting ready to look, he's loading. Godzilla getting ready to hit something over the wall. This is a good, uh, even though I don't like this player. Well, I mean, it's not that I don't like him. He just was a bust. Tsuyoshi Shinjo looking deeply into my eyes. He's like, hey, Jason, fancy meeting you here. And this is another throwbacks right here of uh, Matsui. Matsui! I always like to say. Then this is a Kazishi. I love these cards. It's top two. I didn't have I don't think I had any of these 206 cards. So Greg, he hit me right in my PC pretty hard, punched it out. And then uh, the 1985 style of the uh, Kuroda, which I did not have. And then lastly, I'm going to end up on, on this real winner here, this winner, uh, Akinori Atsuka. Uh, he played for the Rangers, and then I think he also played for the Padres, if I'm not mistaken, for a, a, cup of, a cup of green tea. So anyways, guys, that's it. I know it's not overtly exciting. Hopefully my hopefully the oral I gave, uh, oral Hershiser, I should, be, I should explain, uh, made it somewhat bearable. But I have a ton of cards I'm going to go over. I'm going to uh, do a, a, a eBay uh, video, which is going to have a lot more inserts and numbered cards and things of that sort. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. And if you got this far, you get a cookie or a button. What do you want? Look at that hair. Look at that hair.